go. Welcome to today's video, which is para de dos ad setting first setting for our fourth um, at 75 beats per minute. So this page just had a quick play through it. This is going to be quite a fun page. Certainly for your control, it's going to test your control. Okay. And there's no repeats. Two, four, two, four, two, four. They're all counting in beats and groups of two. And there's no more or no faster than the same quavers in it. All right, so it's all one knee and a two knee and a one knee and a para diddle, para diddle. 75, para diddle, para diddle, para diddle, para diddle. All right, so we need to work our way up to that speed. And the way to get it, all right, back to that speed, because we've done accent and para diddles, first set and third and fourth, is sit and practice them. Maybe do the page where you're doing two of each, right, one on the right, one on the left, then moving the accents. So before, in fact, before we try this, I'm going to play that a few times at that 75 beats per minute. And I'll stop on the last tap for now. And again, the key to this for me is keeping the taps low and manageable. You don't want them to be there. Low and manageable, uh, manageable, manageable under control. And it means the accents only need to be there. Okay. Let's try that. Get it? One, two, go. And again, one, two. And one more. One, two. And what I'll do this time is when I get to the end, I'll start again and I'll repeat it three or four times. Okay, and again, play along to this. It's going to set you up for this page. Ready? One, two, and. And if you're finding, as we work through this page, if any of them are really bothering you, then go back to that. Use that little video, or the video, little bit I done just there as a reference recording. Okay, so you can go back to that if you're finding act set in the third, set in the first, fourth, whatever one. Finding it tricky, go back to that. It will really, really help. So let's talk through what we're doing. So we're doing para do para do para do para do all accent in the first then you accent the second para do para do para do tap tap these two quavers do not have an accent do not hit it you will want to scalp that do not scalp that do not scalp that don't scalp that <laughs> okay and then the second line is the same but we're doing it on the left para do para do para do para do para do do not scalp that tap, that tap, do not scalp that tap. You want to hit it, do not hit it. Okay, so I'm going to try that two lines a bit slower. I'll try it here. So I'll try that speed and then I'm going to try it at the 75. After two, one, two, go. And at that slow speed again. One, two, go. And then we can try it full tilt, 75 beats per minute. So it'll be here. Again. One, two. 
That's it. Okay. So spend time on that. Your next two lines are the exact same rhythm as we've done above. The only difference is instead of being the first and second accent, you're doing the third and then you're doing the fourth. Okay, so you're getting para dedo, 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 tap, tap. And Jizo, you're going to want to hit that one. Uh, you're going to want to hit it. Don't hit it. Okay, and then you're doing the exact same on the left. So, I'm going to try those two lines at the slower speed. Let's try it. One, two, it's all control. Para dedo, para dedo. And again, you're going to want to hit this one, don't hit that one. Okay. And the key, or the, not the key, the tricky bit of this exercise is whoa, try not to hit the last tap of the paradiddles there, and then try not to hit that tap on it before the accent. It's all about control. And if you need to, remember I said before, you can sit and do stuff like that. Loud, soft for four, soft, loud for four. Great way. All right, if drill in your hands into that control. In fact, try that. Let's do it. We'll go. In fact, I'll need to turn the metronome off because I don't want to do all the taps to the beat because you'd be one knee yonder, two knee yonder. We don't need to be as fast as that. So let's try one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Try that. Same left. One, two, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And another couple of times. Done. And another good thing you can do with that is add the opposite hand. All right, and I'll show you what I mean. You could do one full run like this, and then add the opposite. Either that or do two complete runs without. Like this. And then add the opposite for two. And then do the same with left. So two complete runs without the opposite hand. And then get the opposite hand ready. Another great exercise. I'll actually really help with these. Okay. So let's try that two lines. Again at the slower speed. And then I'll try it at the 75. So para diddle, para diddle. One, two, go. Para diddle, 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 tap, tap, para diddle. That's it, and once more. One, two, go. Para dedo, 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 tap, tap. Para dedo, 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 tap. Done. Right, let's try it again at that tempo. And if you're not comfortable at the slower one, play it at the slower one until you get comfortable with it. Because we need to get to there. Let's do it. One, two, go. Practice that as much as you need. All right, and this is the sort of exercises that will catch you out if you're the sort of drummer who's kind of like this and everything's just 
too loose and you've got no wrist or finger control, you're going to really struggle with this. You're going to really struggle. You need to adapt your technique not only to be able to use your fingers and thumbs nice and loosey-goosey, but get your wrists and your arms involved. All right, because that's what's going to control the sticks the most is your wrists and your hands. So, finishing off now, last exercise, we're throwing in some dot and cut paradiddles. All right, so it's only dot and cutting the first, so you're getting accents, paradiddle, paradiddle. So first and then second, paradiddle, 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 paradiddle. No accents on these dots and cuts. And then you're doing paradiddle, 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 tap, tap. Okay, so you're doing accent first, second, third, fourth. Okay, so you're getting this. Paradiddle, 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 tap, tap. Let's try it. Very chilled out, that first line. One, two, go. Paradiddle, 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 tap, tap. And again. Second line will be the exact same, but starting on the left. Okay, so you'll be Try that. One, two. It's a school bell. I do the whole exercise now at that slower speed. Let's go for it. One, two, go. start, if you're playing, and you should be playing along with me, it's not going to be an entertaining watch if you're not joining in, when you're playing along to this, you should start feeling your hands not adapting to it, or it's, hopefully you've got good control, if you've not got good control, you'll start feeling your hands improve the control, your technique might be changing in a touch, go with it, on it, because it's improving to help your control, because so we're going to do that same exercise now, with the beeps. So you'll be this speed here. So that's how it's going to feel. I nice do One, two. And there's no repeats, all right? So you might find assessor says, can you play in the first exercise for me? That would be this. Can you play in the second exercise for me? That would be that. It might ask you to play the whole page, all right? Which is what we're going to try just now. All right, so once through each line, top to bottom, let's give it a go and see how it feels. Ready? One, two. Paradiddle, 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 
CES BF the whole pages min if. <laughs> so again that's not a bad page to play I would say to boost your control when you're feeling that's quite easy crank it up a little touch or like test yourself as long as you're under control you'll know you're not under control when it starts going all over the place right next exercise will be long row developing open to closed so you played as written so you need to play it as you see it okay and that'll be your next video